guys. I hope you are doing well and, you know, are ready for some yoga. We've got Lenny in here with us. We'll see if he uh, tries to creep on out, aka meaning make me get off my mat and open the door. I think he'll love it. Every time I finish yoga and the door is shut, he's literally sitting right outside. So I think he'll be just fine. Um, with that, I really hope you guys are doing well. If you are joining me right now, like give me a heart or a thumbs up or a something because it doesn't tell me numbers anymore. So I truly have no idea who is here or if I'm just talking to myself. So, um, I hope you guys are liking the horizontal setup. It is, whoa, probably shouldn't use that now. Um, it gives you a little bit more to see. Um, a lot of people said that in a poll that I did, they actually prefer watching them in this way. So you can always put the auto lock on on your phone so that way it doesn't turn on you and uh, you'll be all set to go. So with that, I'm not strong anymore. That's okay. Guess I can do it the old fashioned way. So have a sip of your water. <clears throat> Got some lemon water today. Super delicious. Don't touch that, Lenny. <laughs> And come on down to the mat if you haven't already. Go ahead and uh, start your watches. And let's do some yoga. So come on down, get in a comfortable seat, legs crossed, hands in your lap in whatever way feels comfortable. Sit up nice and tall and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through your nose. And out. Inhale. And exhale. In. Out. One more, just like that. In. And out. Good job. Bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And we're just going to pay attention to how that breath actually feels. And notice what part of your body is moving. moving. So just go ahead and take a normal breath in and out. Some of you might notice only your chest was lifting. Some of you might notice only your belly was lifting. With that next inhale, I want you to really try to get the entire front side of your body to press away. So chest lift, belly lift, and feel the oxygen go into the deepest part of your lungs. So everyone take a big inhale through the nose. And exhale, pull your abs in, press it out. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. Big breath. Exhale, press it out. Great job. So I want you to really utilize that type of a breath throughout a practice. So we're engaging our diaphragm. We're strengthening everything internally that we need to. It's going to improve your posture. It's going to improve low back pain, upper body pain, just there's so many things that that diaphragm is connected to. So again, we're just gonna take a couple breaths in and just really start to feel yourself getting a little heavier into your mat. Notice if you slouched forward, make sure we're sitting up nice and tall, even pull your chin towards that back wall. And just notice are you holding tension in your arms, in your legs, your jaw even? Any area that you feel that just tightness, just, you know, give it a little wiggle and let it go. We start with breathing, always coming into ourself, acknowledging what is going on, where we're at in this present moment. You know, you hear everyone say, just be present. But really what that just means is notice. Notice your breath, notice your being, notice what's around you, right? So being present is noticing, okay? Versus you're supposed to have this mental zen clarity. No one knows how to get there. We don't, we just simply notice things. Okay, so with that, take another big inhale in. And exhale, let it go, release your hands. Go ahead and open your eyes. Then take a big inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears, exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lower. In and out. 
Two more. Always connecting to that breath with your movement. Great job. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Big stretch, look up. And exhale, flow them down. Tuck your chin into your chest. Make sure you're sitting up tall. Inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale, float those hands down, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Great job. Go ahead and bring your hands onto your lap again. We'll take a big inhale, sitting up nice and tall. And as we exhale, just release that right ear to your right shoulder. If you hear any like scuffled noises, that's Lenny over there playing in something. <laughs> Focus on that breath. Make sure we're again sitting up tall, lifting through our chest. Just feeling that stretch through the left side. You can part your lips just slightly so you can really begin to feel that release. Take one more big inhale. And with the exhale, use your right hand to help guide your head back up to center and then release it to that left shoulder. Focusing on your breath, inhaling in, out. Notice if your chest is lifting or if you're sinking in. Part your lips, releasing through the right side of your neck here, down into your shoulder. Ooh, Lenny's like way close to you guys. I bet you heard that loud and clear. <laughs> Take one more big inhale and exhale. Go ahead and use that left hand to help guide your head back to center. Take a big inhale. And then as we exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. We're going to begin to roll through our neck here. So left ear, left shoulder. Take your head to the back wall. Roll it over to the right. And then to the front. And keep that going and let this little guy out. I think it was like torture for him. <laughs> All right, and then after this next circle, I want you to reverse directions. Again, making sure we're sitting up tall through the spine, relaxing through your jaw, and slow and steady, rolling through. And when you come back to the center with that chin tucked in, hold it there, press your back towards the wall behind you, begin rounding through your spine. We'll turn to the side so you can see what that looks like. Really rounding like your the letter C here. And then as we inhale, press our chest forward, send our gaze upward. Exhale, round, pull your back towards the wall behind you. Inhale, come forward. And keep that going. And do three more, connecting to your breath, really waking up the spine, lengthening through our neck, through our upper body. And then come back into that stillness here. Take a big inhale in and out. Great job. We're going to come on to all fours, so bring your knees under your hips. Your wrists come right under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips wide. Press into the tops of your feet here. Lift away from your mat, getting a nice flat back. Send your gaze just straight out past your nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, drop your belly down. Lift through your hips. Bend your gaze forward. Continue pressing away from the ground. Exhale, pull your back towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest. Really feel the tops of your feet pressing into the floor. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. In. And out. Keep it going. Go a little faster. 
waking up that spine, getting some energy flowing. And then come back into our neutral tabletop position. Take a breath in and out. Great job. Go ahead and open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring those big toes in to touch. I want you to place that right hand directly underneath of your nose. And as we inhale, we're going to glide that left arm across your body, opening it up to the ceiling. Don't have it drop back behind you. Try to create a nice straight line between your arms. Turn that top thumb towards the wall behind you, though. Press out of that right hand. Inhale. Exhale. Again, utilize that big breath, getting the air to the base of your lungs, contracting your abs as you press it back out. Two more breaths here. Last one. Okay, we're going to release just your fingers to your shoulders and begin drawing a circle with that elbow, opening it up. Dropping into the floor. Continue pressing through that right hand. And then when you reach the top, reverse directions. And do one more circle. And then go ahead and release that hand down. We're going to place the left hand underneath of your nose this time. Inhale, big stretch. Open that right arm up to the sky. Turn your thumb to the wall behind you. Really lengthen here. Feel yourself pressing away from the mat and lifting through that right rib cage. Big breath. Exhale, contract those abs, press it out. In, out. Two more breaths here. In, out. Last one. Great, release your fingertips to your shoulder, begin to draw your circle. Doesn't matter which direction, we'll go both ways. Full range of motion here through that shoulder. And we'll do one more in that direction. And then when you reach the top, reverse. Feel your shoulder blade inching closer to your spine as you go up. And then expanding around your ribs as you come back down. One more. And then go ahead and release that hand down. Bring your knees back into center. Take a big inhale. Curl those toes under. And as we exhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky. Big stretch. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees since we haven't really warmed up our legs yet. You can find a slight rock left and right with your hips here. Really feel yourself pressing into that index finger knuckle and your thumbs. Biceps turn towards the wall in front of you. Inhale, see if you can lift those hips a little higher. Exhale, see if you can sink those heels a little deeper. One more breath here, in, out. Great, bend those knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your feet in together, really nice and close, and then release your upper body over your lower body. Tuck that chin into your chest, and just breathe. Inhale, exhale. Really focus on feeling the back side of your body lifting as you still pull that air to the base of your lungs. Inhale, straighten through your legs, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs here. Straighten through that upper body, look past your nose, halfway lift. Take a big breath in, and exhale, bend your knees, drape your upper body over your lower body, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen hands to your shins this time. And exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're going to come all the way up to standing, straightening through our legs, tucking that tailbone under, rolling up through your low back, mid back, upper back, loop those shoulders back and down, lengthen through your neck, lengthen through the top of your head. Take a big breath in, out. Relax your shoulders down. Your big toes should be touching at this point, so I want you to just turn your heels 
out towards the edges of your mat. So you're coming into this pigeon toe. So if your knees are naturally bending right now, that's okay. I want you to press your knees back. Send your hips forward. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Big stretch. Big inhale, relax your belly as you breathe that air in. And exhale, contract, press it out. Inhale. Exhale, sweep your hands down, point your toes forward, and just take a second to move through your body in whatever way feels comfortable. And then we'll go ahead, turn your toes back in, press those knees back, hips go forward, inhale, lengthen, interlace your fingers this time, press your palms towards the ceiling. Focus on that breath, big inhale, and exhale. One more, in. Out. Go ahead and release those hands. Point those toes forward and just take a second. Inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down. One more. In. Out. Great. Bend your knees. We're going to draw big circles. We stand all the way back up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down. Step one foot back, and then the other shifting into a plank, keeping your wrist right under your shoulders here. You can come down onto your knees if you would like. Slightly angle your fingers towards the edge of your mat. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Really pull that belly button in. Feel your inner thighs turning towards the ceiling. In. Out. One more here. In. And as we exhale, slow and controlled, release your belly all the way down. Keep your elbows into your side. Relax your legs and curl your toes. Inhale, press into your hands. Lift your entire upper body away from the floor. Squeeze through your glutes and just take a moment here in our up dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. Hold it there. Feel the front side of your body really expanding. Inhale forward, and exhale, look over the right shoulder. One more breath here, in. And as we exhale, send your gaze forward and send your hips to your heels. You can open your knees as wide as your mat if you would like, or keep them in to center. And slow and controlled. Just allow your upper body to come all the way down, forehead to the mat. Close your eyes and just take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. One more really big breath in. Out. And just let that breath normalize. Allow your heart rate to lower. And just feel yourself coming into that stillness. Allowing yourself to be present, noticing all the things that are going on. Noticing the emotions that are coming up, the sensations in your body. Notice the physical space you're in or even how that physical space makes you feel. And then go ahead and bring a smile onto your lips. I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, come all the way up into our tabletop position, bringing your knees right underneath of your shoulders here, fingertips wide, 
Nice flat back. Take a big inhale. Curl those toes under, and as you exhale, send your hips all the way up, downward facing dog. Seeing if we can lengthen through our legs here a little bit more, dropping those heels to the mat. You can pedal through, dropping one heel, and then the other. Feeling yourself pressing into that index finger knuckle and your thumb pads. Biceps turning towards the front wall. And then find a moment of stillness. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway left. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle. All the way up. Sway back bend at the top. And exhale, fold. Plant your palms down and step only that right foot back here, making sure that that front knee is directly over your front ankle. You can drop down onto your back knee. Take a big inhale. Lift through that chest. Exhale, relax your shoulders down your back. Go ahead and plant that right palm down onto the floor, keeping that back foot curled under. Inhale, lift through that left arm. Press into the right hand, lifting away from the floor here. Inhale. Exhale. Big smile at the top. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, we're going to release that left hand down. Bring both hands onto your left knee, lifting through that upper body. You can go ahead and curl, uncurl those back toes. Press into your knee and really lift your chest. Exhale. Now you can hold it here or slightly send your body weight forward, taking the pressure out of your knee. And if you'd like to go a little deeper, you can lift through that back leg, bending at the knee, reach your left hand back around and touching wherever you can. If you can stretch it back a little bit, that's fine. If you can get all the way back, go for it. You can keep that right hand on your knee here, or you can lift it up to the sky. Find what's comfortable for you here. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Big breath in. And as we exhale, release that right hand down. Slow and control. Release that bind. Bring both hands forward. Curl your back toe under. Lift through your knee. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway left. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant both hands. Step one foot back and then the other and move through your vinyasa, shifting into plank. Exhale, lowering into to the floor. Inhale, lifting into up dog. Exhale, send it back, child's pose. Slowly releasing your body towards the floor. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. Big breath in. And out. Great job. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. 
Sending your hips high, heels low, biceps towards the front wall. Feel yourself pressing into your index finger knuckle and the thumb pads. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big bend in your knees. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circles. You come all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms. This time we're going to step back that left leg. Inhale, lift through that chest, look forward. Exhale, release that back knee all the way down and double check that that front foot ankle is right in line with that knee. You can inch your toes forward if you need to. Take a big inhale. Exhale, plant that left hand. Open your right arm all the way up. Thumb turns towards the back wall. Pull your front knee in towards the center. Focus on that breath, big inhale. And exhale. In. And as we exhale, go ahead and release that hand onto the front knee. Lock your left hand up there. Uncurl your toes. Press away from your knee. Lengthen through. Feel the lift in your chest here. And again, if you would like to, you go for that bind so we can either reach our arm back first or slow and control, bend that knee, seeing if you can grab that foot. Big stretch here. And if you're up for the challenge, lift through that left arm. Inhale. And as we exhale, release your left hand, uh, release that back foot. Lift through that back leg, step your left foot up to meet the right, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms. You can step back or you can try a little hop all the way back. Shifting into our plank, holding it here. Inhale. Exhale, in, out, two more. And last one, and with that exhale, move through your vinyasa. And just relax that forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Take a big breath in through the nose and out. In, out. One more, big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, walk your hands underneath of your shoulders. Press your upper body away from the floor. Bring those knees into center. Send your hips to your heels. And make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale. And exhale. 
Relax your shoulders down your back here. Pull your chin towards that back wall or use one of your hands to guide it back just slightly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, shift your body weight forward, curl your toes under, slow and controlled, send your knee, or send your hips to your heels. If it's too much pressure, just lift up and away. Find something that you can tolerate, really feeling that stretch through the base of your feet. Again, sitting up tall, pull your shoulders around your back, really taking those elbows towards the back wall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, float them down. Inhale, lift them up, lift through your entire upper body. Exhale, slow and controlled, sink yourself back down. Inhale, lift yourself all the way up, holding it at the top. Press your hips forward. Begin to feel that arch through your upper body here. And exhale again, slow and controlled, send it down. Inhale, lengthen, holding it at the top, pressing your hips forward, focus on that breath, in, out, one more, in, and exhale, slow and controlled, release yourself forward and bring that forehead all the way down so you can get an opposite rounding in our spine. And then inhale, lift back up, send your leg to one side, bring your bottom all the way down, get yourself back into the center of your mat with your feet planted onto the floor. Inhale, lift through your arms. Focus on that breath, big breath. Exhale, sink yourself back. Make sure you have a nice straight line from the top of your head down to your tailbone. You're not rounding, slouching forward. If you can't get straight, you can always come a little closer to your knees. Try to pull your knees into the center. Big breath in and out. Bring your palms together, exhale, twist to the left, bring it forward, set it to the right, keep it going, really twisting that entire upper torso, pulling those knees into the center here. If you have anything close by that you can grab, you can always work that in as an added little bonus. Bring it to the center, to the side. I don't expect you guys to have a yoga wheel at home. But if you do, grab it. Maybe have your small child close by. Grab your child, grab your calf, grab your husband. That would maybe be impossible, but <laughs> it'd be fun to see. If you do it, record it, send it to me. Great, inhale back to center, lift all the way up. Go ahead and walk your feet a little closer, hug your knees, tuck your chin into your chest, and just enjoy your little cocoon for a moment. Inhale, lengthen through your chest here, lift through that head, and exhale, release your hands down, walk your feet forward, inhale, lift through those arms. Exhale, sink it all the way down to the floor, slow and controlled, no flopping here. And extend your legs, extend your arms, big stretch. And as we exhale, pull those knees into your chest, catch them with your hands, give them a little hug. Lifting through that tailbone, and we're coming back into our stillness. Inhale, exhale, drop that left leg down. Just allow your right arm to fall to the floor, palm open to the ceiling, and then take that right knee over to the left side. Look towards your right hand, getting a big stretch here. And again, focusing on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Inhale, come back to center, both knees into your chest. Hold them here or give them a little tug. Find your stillness, take a breath in. Exhale, release that right leg down this time. 
Left hand comes to the floor, palm open to the ceiling. Send your knee to the right side. Look towards the left fingers, keeping that left shoulder on the mat. Inhale. Exhale. In. And out. One more breath. Great. Come back into the center. Pull those knees in one more time. Hold it here. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, extend one leg down and then the other. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as your mat. Bring your hands down to the floor, palms open to the ceiling. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And exhale. Biggest breath you've taken all day in. And out. And just let that breath come to a nice normal rhythm as we move into our final pose, Savasana. This is our time to be still, to be present. Remember, we need to notice and to just breathe. And with that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and close. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing knee, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up tall, hands in your lap, eyes closed. Inhale. Exhale. Palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed today's session and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. We do have the events in uh, the group now, so if you'd like, you can make sure you just hit going. Let me know who might be here with me. So, 